Welcome to my channel. I'm Sarah, former binge eater turned psychotherapist. And this video is for you if you're in the middle of a binge urge. Or maybe you can just feel something building, a bit of tension. It feels like a binge is imminent, whether it's in the next few minutes, hours, days, maybe even weeks. I have recorded a five minute meditation to do if you've got a binge urge. But I, I had the inspiration to do a video as well to be spoken to, to connect when you've got these feelings going on. First of all, if you have had the wherewithal to play this video when you're feeling that urge building, it's not inevitable that you're going to binge. It hasn't got you. If it had, you wouldn't have been able to have found this video and pressed play. There's a part of you that doesn't want to go unconscious and lose yourself in a binge. So we're going to stay together. We're going to join me. So firstly, like, let's check in. What are you believing right now? What is your mind telling you? It might be telling you, um, okay, I'll get through this video, but then as soon as I do, I'm going to binge. Your mind might be telling you, Sarah, please say something to me to make this feeling go away. Like Whatever it is, just notice. What is your mind anticipating? What is it predicting is going to happen at the end of this video? Just notice. Now drop from your mind into your body. Maybe you can't feel much. Maybe it's numb. Maybe there's an agitation. Like, where is the urge in your body? If you're not sure, just notice if there's any tension. How does your body feel? Can you bear it if you were just feeling those physical sensations with a calm mind? Could you bear it? Now, I just want you to, like, put your arms around yourself. Let's try not to knock my mic your arms around yourself and just squeeze. Just hold yourself tightly for a moment. Take a moment to appreciate yourself and the part of you that said, I'm going to watch this video instead of running straight to the food. And now if it feels nice to hold yourself, continue holding yourself. If it feels intuitively you want to let go and be more opened up, then do that. What does your body want to do right now? And let's do a couple of rounds of breathing together. So I'm going to count you. I'm going to breathe in for five, pause, and breathe out for seven. Okay, ready? So breathe in, two, three, four, five, hold. And then slowly release, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Breathing in, two, three, four, five, hold. And exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Breathe in, two, three, four, five, hold. And breathe out two, three, four, five, six, seven. Breathe in, two, three, four, five, hold. Breathe out, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two more. Breathe in, two, three, four, five, hold and exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Breathe in, two, three, four, five, hold, and breathe out, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just notice however you're sitting. Notice the parts of your body that are in contact, whether it's with the ground, a seat, your bed, the floor. 
and just feel that connection like your body is connected in this world like the binge eating it's almost like that disconnection that wanting to just switch off run away escape not have to think not have to feel for a while so just place your hands sort of over your solar plexus kind of here just below can't see here <laughs> just place your hands here and ask yourself am I hungry do I need nourishment because that can be a bit different from hunger and trusting trusting that you're using this time to connect with yourself to really check in about what it is you want and need right now you're not alone millions of people throughout the world are feeling this or have felt this and by remembering you're not alone there's a certain connection that that creates when we really realize we're not alone and there's a safety that comes through that connection and through you choosing to watch this video and connect with yourself and, and also remembering there's no right or wrong decision to make now there's just a decision with different outcomes maybe different emotional experiences which feels like the most peaceful decision to make you may have a story about yourself about I don't know not being able to cope with your feelings or life and that's why you binge but by watching this video you chose to stay with yourself to check in with how you're feeling and I want you to really recognize what a big thing that that is and and recognize that you have the capacity for that and that it doesn't have to be a, a struggle and a fight it's more like a release and a surrender and if you don't feel calm that's okay like whatever you feel now it's okay no obligation for this video to make you feel a certain way it's just a willingness to feel to check in and to ask yourself the question what decision feels like the most peaceful decision to make right now and there is no right wrong or morally superior answer to that trust yourself you got this